Welcome to episode ten twenty seven. Ding Sichong, Shu King of China. This is an outline of episode ten twenty seven. At the tender age of seventeen, Ding went to Beijing with ten thousand yuan borrowed from his father and six hundred pairs of shoes. Even though I had no idea what I'm going to do in Beijing. Or whether I could even get a train ticket once in Fuzhou. Back then, it took five hours by bus from my hometown to the provincial capital Fuzhou. After that, 48 hours by train to Beijing. In those early days of China's reform, you couldn't get train tickets, so I just bought standing room tickets. Those old green trains had the hardest vertical seats. We slept on the floor under the seats on newspapers. And transporting 600 pairs of shoes to Beijing took 20 days. He was born in Zhengjiao, China, in 1970, to a Muslim family. Zhengjiao, and this is the oldest mosque in China, built in 1009. And I think it is revered by the Muslims as one of the ten holiest sites in the world. Turn the street there. This is the headquarter of Anta Sports. The slogan behind me reads "China's shoe capital." This is Jinjiang City, once a manufacturing base for likes of Nike and Adidas. It is now dubbed the shoe capital of the country. We're going to go and take a look inside. After China started opening up its economy in the late 70s, brands. Now the city is home to an estimated 5,000 shoe companies, including three of China's four largest sportswear brands: Anta, Xstep, and 361. So, out of 5,000 shoe companies in just one city, how did he become the shoe king of China? In 1998, Anta signed an endorsement contract with world-renowned Chinese table tennis player Kong Linghui. Who had won a gold medal at the Sydney Olympics? It was under such circumstances we thought about having famous sports stars endorse us. That Anta Sports IPO on the Hong Kong Stock Exchange in 2007. He was 37. This is the biggest brand you've never heard of. Anta Sports has a 15% market share of China's $43 billion sports apparel market, and it's not that far behind market leader Nike and Adidas. Anta's goal: be number one by 2025. Next, Anta Sports going global. Clay Thompson $80 million over 10 years to endorse its products. The latest version of Thompson's signature sneaker for the brand comes out this month. Anta is combining growth within China with acquisitions overseas. It spent 5.2 billion dollars to buy Finland's Amur Sports, which owns well-known brands such as Salomon and Wilson. In February 2021, Ding Xijiang, with a net worth of 9.8 billion dollars, is the shoe king of China. His brother Ding Xijia is also a very rich billionaire. This is picture of Ding Xijia, his elder brother. This is a chart of the stock price of Anta Sports in the last eighteen years. His future looks bright. Anta's revenue has soared eighty percent over the last two and a half years. It's hoping to get another boost when the Winter Olympics come to Beijing in 2022. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and leave your questions and comments below. My next video will be Ding Xijiang Nine Lessons. Wishing everyone peace and prosperity.